Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And these are the NEC changes for this specific topic. We're going to start with the 17 as our base into the 2020 and in the 2023. I have to recommend that you use these videos for educational purposes only. Be sure to pull permits on all wiring projects, working closely with your local electrical inspector to make sure that you have an NEC code compliant installation. I just want to see you guys win. And a part of us all winning is that we do all electrical work legally, morally, and ethically. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. So let's dive right into this one. There's a lot of code to cover here, and let's start in the 2017. So in the 2017, these are going to be found in 210.8a. This is dealing with dwelling units, and it's for 125 volt receptacles. So this is for 15 and 20 amp 125 volt receptacles, and you're going to be required to do GFCI protection if it's outdoors. Nothing really changed there. Outdoor receptacles were already required, so no big deal. Now what we have to watch out for in 210.8b, which is other than dwelling units, is the answer is yes. If you look in B part four, it lets you know that all outdoor receptacles are required to be GFCI protected. And there are a few parameters here. This is for 125 volt receptacles when we're dealing with other than dwelling units. This is for single phase that are 150 volts to ground to less 50 amp or three phase that are 150 volts to less 100 amp or less. So if you do commercial work, make sure you pay attention here. Outdoor receptacles are now required, whether it's 240 volts or whatever, it's required to be GFCI protected when you're in the 2017 code. Now let's take a look at the 2020, and they've expanded it. So in 210.8a, which is dwelling units, the answer is yes for 125 through 250 volt receptacles for a residential setting. This is super important. Now this is dealing with receptacles only. We're going to be dealing with outlets later. When we get to 210.8b, other than dwelling units, yes, they're going to have to be required just like before. Now, the new code is in 210.8f, and this is a completely new requirement starting in the 2020. And what it states is that all outdoor outlets are required to be GFCI protected with few exceptions, one of them being lighting. Lighting was exempted. Ex you know, there's an exception for it from this requirement but this book requires all outlets this is not just receptacles so whether it's hardwired a lighting outlet which was exempt or receptacle outlets or any other type of outlet it is required so it doesn't just have to be a receptacle anymore this also includes hardwired equipment now there were a lot of changes um, to this for HVAC and they've also extended some of those into the 2023 that's outside of the scope of this video but just a blanket statement with none of the changes, you have to do it on all outdoor outlets. Now let's head to the 2023. And can we just say yes and just call it 210.8? Because if it doesn't catch you in 210.8a, it's going to catch you in 210.8b. And then again, in 210.8f, you're required to just do all outdoor outlets. So the odds are, other than lighting, in the 2017 or excuse me, in the 2020 or later, you're going to have to GFCI protect it, whether it's receptacle or hardwired. So just something to get ready for. And this is including, you know, commercial, non-commercial, single phase, three phase, it doesn't matter. So if you're not very careful with this change, you absolutely can get burned on it financially, having to buy a trip unit, having to buy any of these things. So GFCI protection can get very expensive very quickly if you have not estimated it on your job, but you're a grinder. You're here. You're checking out these videos every day. You're learning and growing, and this ca this change has not caught you by surprise. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add a little bit of value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.